I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 264, Calculate Year-to-Date Using the Select Between Function in Quantrix Modeler. I came across this uh, trick or this methodology the other day as I was working with one of my coworkers. He had a model similar to what I have here, and he wanted to create a summary matrix where it would put in the year-to-date values of the listed cash balances here. Uh, based off of some month that he uh, were to put over here in a date manager. So how do you do this in Quantrix Modeler? It's really simple. It's, it's called using the select between function. But just a little bit more about the structure of our model. I have here this summary matrix, if you will, and it has year and it has month. It has these cash balance items. And what my coworker or colleague wanted to do is he wanted to go ahead and summarize these uh, you know, from 1 to 10 or 1 to whatever value I put in here for the year and the month. And he wanted that to be summarized up here in this matrix down below under this item called year to date. So how would you do this in Quantrix Modeler? I would use the select between functions. So I would say year to date is equal to the sum and then I would do select between. And the arguments for select between are, well, what do I want to return? That's my value list. Uh, what do I want to look up against? That's my key list. And then what values do I want to look up? Uh, because it's select between, there's two of them. Them. There would be my lookup value 1, which is kind of the lower bound number, and then my lookup value 2, which is my upper bound number. If I wanted those lookup values to be included, or I wanted this function to be inclusive, I would then put a 1 in here to indicate inclusive. If I didn't want it inclusive, I could put a 0, or I could simply leave it blank. The reason why I can leave it blank is because inclusive inclusive as you can see is actually in its square brackets that means that is an it is an optional parameter within the select between function that's what the square braces uh, mean so continuing on what do i want to return i want to return the summary values up here so i'm simply going to write summary and my double colon i'm going to go to, i'm going to hit control enter to go to my next line and what is my key list well my key list is really the month items up here or this month category. I know from my experience in working with Quantrix that these um, month values, they're in the item header up here. And because they're there, they are stored as text. I want them actually to be stored as values or I want them to read as values in my key list. The reason being is because this is a select between and indeed I'm putting in a value within my month. This is a value, this is not a text string, and I know that because it is right aligned when I enter it in. If it wasn't, if it was text, it would be left aligned. So again, I need to force my key list to be values of month. So how I would do that, I would simply write value, and I would say at uh, month up here. So that's my key list. And then my next argument is, well, what's my lookup value? Because I want this to be year to date, I always want to start with one month one, so I'm going to put one as my uh, lookup value one, and then what is my upper bound number or my lookup value two? It is going to be my date manager month that I input over here. And do I want this to be inclusive? Indeed I do, so I'm just simply going to put a one in there. If I go ahead and I run this, and I'm going to the next line to add my uh, closing paren to my sum, if I do this, this is going to give me a pound size error. And the reason why it's giving me a pound size error, we could look at it in the dependency inspector and we could see that probably our lookup ranges are just a little bit out of, out of whack. So I'm doing the summary, it's got 204 items in it, and I'm doing this key list that's got only 12 items within it. So the other thing I'm missing from this and why I'm getting the pound size error, I believe, is because I need to go ahead and I need to specify the year that I want to look at as well. And how I would do that is simply with a using as, and I would say using items as categories. That's how using as works, using date manager year, which is an item, as my category of year up here. And when I do that, 
then I get rid of my pound size errors. I look at my select between, and you can see that I'm looking at 12 items here versus 12 items there. So I have perfect symmetry in both my key list of my lookup values. And then what I would do is I would simply go out here and highlight these, and I would go through period 10, and I would say, well, 302, 129, does the sum of these equal 302, 129? It does equal 302, 129. How about this top row, uh, which I have labeled here as net income? If I go 1 through 10, is it 38, 524? Indeed, it is 38, 524. So that is how you calculate a year-to-date kind of summary uh, in Quantrix Modeler and have it available to be dynamic. So if I were to put 8 in here or 2 in here or 1, it updates for me automatically with the correct year-to-date numbers. I love Select Between. It's powerful. It's powerful stuff in this powerful software, also known as Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. That's why I stay up late at night making YouTube videos for free because I'm passionate about this software. I do want to make you a Quantrix master. And I also want you to know that if you ever need any help on more of a consistent or long-term basis, know that I am available to help you with your model building. And I'd be more than happy to do that for you. So reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. And of course, Come back and watch another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.